Hey guys, before doing anything, what I want you to do is go to my channel, press subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, then you can also do this. Just press on this bell right here, click send all notifications for this channel, check that off, and press save. So now you know whenever I make a video, you'll get the notification. Yo, what is going on guys? Provides here, thank you for watching this video. Now this is the second part of the 2D game development series. So I'm just going to show you guys what I have so far and what we left off from <clears throat> or where we left off from. So uh this is really it. Can't move your screen around. Uh <clears throat> you turn pretty quick. And that's what we have so far. Um now what we're going to work on is the uh, sprinting. So this is going to be very easy. So we're going to start off from where we left off. In uh, starter pa starter pack, we have a local script UIS. <clears throat> All right, so this is very very simple. So we're just gonna add on here. Uh, so make so just click right here. Oops. Just click right here and just press enter to make a new line. So <clears throat> so what this code is saying is there's um we get user input service and then there's this event called input begin is whenever we make contact with the keyboard and then we check if uh, input which is the parameter the, if the key code which the key code is whatever we press is equal to A so if we press A then it's gonna make us face the left which is gonna make our torso face this and if our torso faces this our whole body's gonna face in that direction. That's just how Roblox works. Uh, so, what we want to do is we're gonna make a. I just wanted to explain that, but we're gonna make a new if statement. So let's just. And I don't know why I said make a new line, um, but let's go over here, make a new if statement. All right. Let me just. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is if input dot key code whoops is equal to enum enum dot key code dot left shift whoops left shift ah oh, I keep making mistakes all right left shift then and let's remove this uh, let's keep char so char dot humanoid dot walk speed equals uh, let's go 30 alright so what this is saying is when we press the left shift which is the shift uh, key on our keyboard but on the left side there's also there should be one on the right side but usually whenever you make a uh, like whenever you want your people to be able to run in your game usually you just use the left shift and so we change the characters humanoids walk speed to 30 so let's test this out so I'm just walking normal I press I hold shift as you can see I'm running really quick now what about if we let go as you can still s still see I'm like running 30 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a whole new function so we're gonna copy this right here we're gonna paste it and then we're just gonna take these two lines out right here and we're gonna change this event name to input ended so this event or function is gonna fire whenever we let go of a keyboard uh, I mean I'm sorry let go of a key so pretty much just change this to ended now and what we can do is set it back to the original speed which is 16 because a normal character speed is 16 but what if we wanted to do this well, first off, let me test it out. All right, so I'm walking normal. I will hold shift, let go of shift, hold, let go, hold, let go, hold. Yep, it works fine. Now there's another way of changing speed. What you can do, <clears throat> so right away, whenever you press the left shift, it changes your walk speed to 30. Now another way, what you could do is speed that walk speed so we want the walk speed to equal to the walk speed plus and then you do whatever you want like a plus 22 speed 
so that's pretty much 16 plus 22 and that's the walk speed so that's just another way you can do it and what you could do here excuse me uh, and you could do equals the walk speed minus whatever and then you put whatever so we can go plus 22 then minus 22 and it pretty much works the same <coughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the sprinting part of the 2D game development. Now, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.